Okay, this is my favorite thing in the world. So, you know the Twilight Zone? They have yeah. their own little version called Night Springs, which the locals believe is based off of this town, which actually would make a lot of sense. And Alan actually worked on this show, and the first one is honestly the best one. It's called Quantum Suicide. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. And they either got a pretty Einstein, good actor voice, which also lets me get some rum. Yay! <laughs> the price for such a legacy is God, this beard is so itchy. Not gonna lie, I'm already tired of having a fucking suicide. the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here. At the Moorcock Institute. Tonight, yeah. I'm going to give a <laughs> Moorcock Institute. Okay, come the on. World's interpretation. As you can he see, wants some Moorcock. Bullshit, that's a Colt 45 and I know it. And now, a real Jackass. Experiment known as a quantum suicide. This game was made by non-Americans. Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please, stay... There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I might love the cheap effect. Cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon... I like how the chick is completely, like, unfazed. He just fired a gun in the middle of a classroom. Here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I Did anybody here know that this guy was going to pull a fucking gun? I don't think so. <laughs> what circumstances can this gun kill me? Uh, so wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you... Die. Still not immortal, though. You will eventually die of old age. You're just... If you get... If a car goes to hit you, it will miss you every time. Unless somebody unplugs the machine. You ever watch M.A.S.H.? It reminds me of Charles Winchester. Dying of his own hubris. <laughs> Why was that thing came, like that should have ran on a battery, bro? That or at least a battery as a failsafe. Be broken. All right, now back to the nightmare. Stuck on this, bitch. 